MP4 West Royal St. Andrew, Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, who said Justice Panton should be removed from his post for what she calls severely unbecoming conduct in the Parliament yesterday. She's also demanding an apology from Justice Panton. Appearance before Parliament's Oversight Committee for the Integrity Commission. The members of the Commission, indeed the Commissioners led by their Chairman, Justice Retired Justice Seymour Panton, appeared before the Commission yesterday. And uh, in doing so, a lot of things were said, some unsaid, but messages, uh, verbal and nonverbal, deliberate and not so deliberate, subtle and otherwise, messages were sent. And uh, the chairman, Justice Panton, dismissed claims by some parliamentarians that the work of the commission was being motivated by malice and partisanship in its operations. Yes? And uh, he also defended the work of the commission and called on the parliamentarians to desist from denigrating or disparaging the work of the commission. Chevron Campbell tells us more. Jamaica knows it's not true. In his first ever appearance before the country's legislators, Justice Panton dismissed claims made in the public domain suggesting motives of partisanship and malice. Commissioners have noted over the past couple of years that remarks have been made that the Commission is partisan and that the Commission, that there is malice in its operations. I'd just like to point out that the persons who made those statements know that it is not true. They know that we know it is not true and they know that Jamaicans know that it is not true. The Integrity Commission chairman says the organization takes orders from no one but the courts. He says to suggest otherwise is dangerous and should be condemned. It fuels such statements, fuel sort of mood among sycophants and in the kind of society in which we live. We need to understand that persons should be very careful of what they say. And I hope that somebody will take the leadership to correct them. We on the commission, we are committed to doing what the legislation permits us to do. The Integrity Commission has come under fire from members of the Jamaica Labour Party for its scrutiny of Prime Minister Andrew Honus's statutory declarations. Those declarations remain uncertified as the Commission called for further investigations to be carried out by the Financial Investigations Division and Tax Administration Jamaica. Justice Panton says documents are nothing less than reports of facts. He made reference to numerous occasions on which Prime Minister Andrew Holness has commended the work of the Commission. In 2020, he commended the Commission in our Anti-Corruption Day celebration. He said under the leader of Chairman the Honorable Mr. Justice Seymour Panton, the Commission continues to distinguish itself, operating without fear or favor in pursuit of a just and corruption-free society. That was 2020. In 2022, he said that the Commission has done an outstanding job in increasing awareness and understanding of the anti-king. I have been a lay preacher in the Methodist Church for decades. Malice is not in my makeup, and it is not in the makeup of the Commissioners. And there may be persons who need to repent, and they can join me at church, Providence Methodist, any Sunday. I don't know if something is wrong with the water in parliament why some people the moment they get into parliament they say certain things and behave a certain way i don't know if that is it as a result i decided that i wasn't going to take the chance of drinking any water here chevron campbell for nationwide news well that last comment by justice panton triggered several reactions condemn condemnation and agreement with him but also 
he went on to say that consultant psychiatrist Senator Sophia Longmore may want to examine some of her parliamentary colleagues clearly suggesting that they may not be mentally well that is also not going down well in fact Justice Panton's comments including and those not including and those of the executive director those comments have really sparked another round of intense debate about the work of the Commission and the response yesterday of the President of the Senate King's Council Tom Tavares Finson added and accelerated the torrent of controversy now again engulfing the work of the Commission because the President of the Senate Senator Tom Tavares Finson said that listen he's confident about the integrity of the processes of Parliament being observed especially as they relate to Panton's criticism that reports sent to the Parliament are being leaked this is what the President of the Senate said yesterday the suggestion that Mr. Justice Panton made this morning before the Oversight Committee of the Integrity Commission that leaks as it relates to reports from the Integrity Commission came from the Parliament is out of order and without foundation. I am startled that he could make such a suggestion and I stand by the integrity of the Parliament, the Speaker and the Clerk of the House as it relates to the process of tabling reports from the Integrity Commission. And I suggest that Mr. Panton needs to apologize to the Parliament of Jamaica for this unfounded and outrageous suggestion. Senator Tom Tavares Finson, he also chastised, chastised Justice Panton for what he says is a misleading of the meeting of Parliament's Integrity Oversight Committee yesterday. According to the Senate President, Justice Panton misled the Parliament when he suggested that information from the Commission leaks only after it is sent to the Parliament. The Senate President says, notably, there was an instance in November of 2023 where the Gleaner newspaper reported extensive details concerning an alleged probe by the Commission. Senator Tavares Swinson says in another instance, an opposition MP recently used a political platform to, in what he calls, a vulgar manner to predict the tabling of a report by the Integrity Commission. According to Senator Tom Tavares Swinson, Justice Panton's comments questioning whether there's some contamination of water being consumed by parliamentarians and further recommending psychiatric evaluation of parliamentarians was rude, disrespectful, offensive, and out of order. Well, this, as I said, is raising more questions, scrutiny of how the Integrity Commission is conducting itself and uh, it has sparked a raging debate once again in the country. I'm going to ask Ricardo Brooks, who is on the line. Good morning, Ricardo. Good morning, Cliff. Good morning to the listeners. Good morning. You, you, you monitored the full sitting yesterday, unlike me. I wasn't able to monitor the full sitting, right? As it relates to this raging controversy, about disrespect to the parliament and uh, the response or deferential it is being suggested response of the parliamentarians give me your perspective what 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 emerged from the, the sitting yesterday yeah 
I, I think, Cliff, it, for me, was a low point in the conduct of parliamentary business and the essential oversight that the legislative body must necessarily perform in our democratic uh, situation. What I witnessed yesterday was a commission of the parliament, yes, chaired by a retired senior judge, pouring scorn, mocking, insulting the institution, is my interpretation of what I saw, of mm. parliament. Because whatever you think of the the current composition, the members, and it was clear that the, the commission thinks very little of them. Whatever you think of those individual 63 members of the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. I think we can all agree that the institution of Parliament is important and it ought to be respected. And even more so by a commission of the Parliament. I saw my yeah. lawmakers being mocked laughing along, being very deferential, feeding ground on essentially what, what are prerogatives of the parliament, that they interpret their own, for example, the standing orders, and they apply them. Yes? Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't see my legislators standing up and holding to account a commission that otherwise, as the good justice rightly said, under law, is answerable to nobody except the court. Such a situation where the people of Jamaica cannot have questions, legitimate questions, and I've been in the public domain now for quite some time, answered without mockery and contempt is something I never want to see repeated. And I go mm -hmm. further. In other democracies, you do not see this kind of thing. It is unthinkable, for example, that any agency of the U.S. government could be asked to come before the House of Representatives or the Senate to give account and treat the, the commons. lawmakers. Or, or the, or the commons, commons in the U.K. It, Absolutely. Yes. And treat mm -hmm. the lawmakers and the institution with such contempt. I, 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 it, 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 it rubbed me the wrong way. And I think whatever you think, again, and I know it's easy enough for us to dismiss it and say, oh, they're my politicians. And so they deserve that kind of thing. And I, I, I'm prepared to say, I expect a lot of people will say that. Yes. But we have to be careful that we do not debase the parliament and neuter it to a point where it cannot perform. Remember what the Constitution says, you know, it exists to ensure the good governance of Jamaica. Those 63 mm -hmm. people are elected on behalf of the Jamaican people. And when they carry out their oversight function, they carry it out on our behalf. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, it shouldn't happen again. It was contemptuous and disrespectful. And it's not the first time. It is not the first time this particular commission of the parliament has treated yes. it this way. And to see well, the lawmakers deferential, giggling along, like giddy schoolgirls and schoolboys, I thought it was a poor showing. By the parliamentarians, it's happened. First of all, the Integrity Commission was asked to appear to deal with issues relating to its work, its procedures, and uh, latterly, the controversial issue of the Prime Minister's uncertified statutory declarations. But then, the Chairman of the Commission, retired Justice Seymour Panton, really, in his understated way yeah heaped scorn disrespectful offensive some of the words being used to describe Panton's utterances to the parliamentarians yesterday that is causing a fallout a number of people supporting Panton and strongly disagreeing with him. Among those strongly disagreeing with him is his MP for West Royal St. Andrew, Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, who said Justice Panton should be removed from his post for what she calls severely unbecoming conduct in the Parliament yesterday. 
she's also demanding an apology from Justice Panton. Yes? Justice Panton's remarks elicited laughter from some members of the parliament, and that's the Parliamentary Oversight Committee, chaired by Edmund Bartlett. Here's that exchange. There may be persons who need to repent and they can join me at church any Sunday. Don't know if something is wrong with the water in Parliament. Why some people, the moment they get into Parliament, they say certain things and behave a certain way. I don't know if that is it. As a result, I decided that I wasn't going to take the chance of drinking any water here. Another feature, Mr. Chairman, which I'm very serious about, is that I, because of what has been happening, I personally intend to see if I can meet with Senator Longmore, doctor, to have a word with her, because it may well be that she needs to have a word with some members of the House. Wow. There was another comment, and we have Ricardo Brooks with me. He monitored the Parliament yesterday. Yes. Ricardo, there was another yes. moment when uh, Justice Panton said, listen, I am here merely out of respect for the chairman of the Oversight Committee because, frankly, I don't think we ought to be here. Yes. Am I interpreting his comments accurately? Yes, hmm? I, I think he also said out of respect for the parliament, which is a bit paradoxical considering uh, what was said during the sitting. Hmm. Uh, but I also want to say, please, if I, if in that sitting of the committee yesterday I saw any kind of attempt to defend the prerogatives of the parliament and try to constructively uh, engage on behalf of the Jamaican people, it was from Pernell Charles Jr. Uh, mm. I have to say he did attempt uh, to hold his ground and to ask questions, relevant questions on behalf of the Jamaican people. So too mm -hmm. did, did the Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs, Marilyn Mallow, who fought. Uh, and I also, yes, yesterday evening, last evening, when I made my initial comments, uh, she did reach out to me and indicate that, you know, upon reflection, yes, she agrees that the chairman's behavior, that is, retired Justice Seymour Panton, that his behavior was unbecoming. And she said that she did not want her show of civility in the sitting to be confused with deference. Uh, mm. So I, I just thought I'd put that out there, you know, for, for the full yes. picture. Uh, yes. But again, overall, taken, you know, all together, I, I uh -huh. still maintain that, that it wasn't a good showing on behalf of the lawmakers. And, and, and let us be clear, we're not talking about all 63 MPs. We're no. talking about only the members of the Ed Bartlett Chaired Integrity Commission Oversight Committee. Absolutely. And who would those be? Do you have the names there? I know Bartlett so himself. So if I can recall from memory, Philip Paul was President Julian. That what we are into is people acting as if they're demigods, where they are to be treated as gods, not to be questioned, not to be interrogated not to be held to account people who ask of the parliamentarians and others yeah that we need to be transparent and accountable but who do not want to subject themselves to that same level of transparency and accountability mm -hmm. and we are now in a in a, in a in a jam as a country where there is the poison the toxicity that has developed between members of the parliament and the commission in a very tribalized political environment Ricardo yes. where it's as if all of us I heard Mr. Christie use a term yesterday all of us are in a pit and we're mm -hmm. all getting muddied yeah where is where are we to turn to for the leadership yes to guide us out of where we are because certainly it's no one wins when in in terms of where we are nobody wins jamaica loses and, and yeah? it's precisely for that reason why i think the tone and the posturing yesterday was wrong 
Because in a situation like that, where you have the partisan, and as the chairman rightly said, sycophants, when they yes. look on and they see that kind of behavior, that's fuel for their fire. That's fuel mm-hmm. for saying, you see, me tell you, see how them behave? That's mm-hmm. the kind of thing. It, it should have been a far more constructive um, engagement, and the chairman could have defended the commission from the attacks without mm-hmm. himself launching into very personal attacks on the lawmakers. Mm-hmm. So it, it, mm-hmm. is an appre- it, it requires an appreciation, I think, on both sides that it, it, it's time for us to just take it down a notch. Take it down a notch. Mm-hmm. Good judgment should prevail. For example, when the shooting incident happened, your first response ought not to be go ask the government. Yes, yes. You expect and, and- these people to appreciate that in these highly charged situations... That is where you leadership matters, and that's where you lower the temperature. That's where the civility mm-hmm. is important, and that's where the constructive dialogue and, and transfer of ideas becomes critical. But did I hear in relation to that comment in the in, in the immediate aftermath of the shooting incident, Justice Panton seemingly suggesting that there were other factors at work? It was in a particular context where the government did not respond quickly enough to the security concerns of the commission? Yes, which is something we've heard before. Right, yes, we've heard that before. Yes, they've offered that explanation before. Yes. Yes, that that would have triggered that reaction. The, the but then, response, yes. Yes, but then leadership demands that uh, in such moments, that's when you have to hold your tongue, you know? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, Ricardo Brooks, thank you very much. Yes. All right. Good, good. Time for the break.